Basin Forum with service to Houston County. This is our rental car. It's a Honda Civic. <laughs> oh, that's a nice sofa bed. Almost thought I got scammed at the airport last night. <laughs> this is the view from the hotel room. It's currently 9, almost 15, and we need to be leaving soon for Animal Kingdom. for parking and it was $25, heads up. But it's already cool, right? In the entrance? Yeah. We just upgraded to a park hopper so that we can go to Magic Kingdom tonight. Here we go. Speaker on the glass. Oh, it's so beautiful here. I love Animal Kingdom. Welcome to the Avatar program. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the video here. And we're on your flight visors. Once in a lifetime. Really good. If I could do this for about an hour, uh, yeah. I would do it. I know it's like a virtual reality type of ride. And it lasts four minutes. Okay. 30 seconds. My turn, it's Disney themed. I have an M and I'm gonna say Mulan. Oh, that's a good one. What well, is that movie Hunchback called? Of Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hey, okay, uh, say a character or okay. a title. Nala from Mulan. Nala's good. I thought I had Oscar. Oscar? Oscar. 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 Oscar.
No, you're thinking about Oscar the Grouch and Sesame Street. That's what I thought. I got one of my favorite characters with all. Oh, Allah, yes. Allah. What did you say? Allah. O'Malley the Alley Cat. Oh, my favorite character in all the movies. Okay, there's your girl. Pocahontas. <gasps> Pocahontas. Don't just. Uh, Rapunzel. <gasps> oh, that's good. Oh. Snowman. Snow, snow White. There you go. There snow you go. White. That's what I was looking at. Hair? I'll sleep in this is the Navi River journey. We've been waiting for an hour. The ride wait time was 70 minutes on this one. Here we are, front row. Navi River. Hold it, hold it. So the river journey was a little dull. I mean, it's beautiful, detail-oriented, but it's just not like thrilling or unique. I'm sorry, this is beautiful, you guys. How beautiful amongst the flags. Oh yeah, the Yeti, the Mount Everest ride is amazing, you guys. We went on it twice. The single rider was five minutes long. We ate. Ooh, this is a good stuff. Lemonade, strawberry. Welcome to Feathered Friends in Flight. There we go. We're going to land. There we go. He's going to steal your money. Yes. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh. <laughs> more now. That, that is scary. America. This is an owl you are very likely to see in your backyard. One of the largest silently. And then they are going to use their incredibly strong talons to snatch that prey up, rip it up with the sharp beak. And all of those adaptations come together to form one of the best. <laughs> What's your name? Gabriella. Gabriella, are you Molly? Molly! Oh. <laughs> there we go. Molly and Cappy, right? Two different. Meow. 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 Meow.
we have even animals that have died. It is gross, but it's so important in that big deep. It's hopeful all those animals are cleaning up the mess, stopping the spread of disease, and it returns nitrogen back to the soil. How cool is that? So, I mean, they're like nature's recyclers in a way. Yeah, nature's recyclers. And our friend here, Fraser. Fraser. <laughs> is 30 minutes on this one. The back side of a rhino. There against the rock. Oh one year and then we're getting three corn on the cob the total for these four items five items is $29 not bad okay guys this is the Chinese place that in Philly steak that's both halal um, and we're about to eat some food because we are very hangry right now Oh my goodness. 
Like, look at that. <laughs> on this part of the ride we actually got stuck for a few minutes and i really freaked out because i felt like there was no way to get out of my seat with the way the lap part of it was and so didn't love this ride I'll pretend like I'm driving it. So we are going on Big Thunder Mountain. We haven't been on this one before. This is new. Y'all, Big Thunder was really good. It was amazing. Y'all need to go to Disney, whatever this is called. Magic it's Kingdom. It's way better than all that other stuff they're advertising. <laughs> this is the real deal. If you're a 90s baby, this is our home. Come back. Um, Big Thunder was a long roller coaster. It was also perfect for people that don't like super, super intense roller coasters. And then it was like my mom. This is the Western Frontier Land. Some Buzz Lightyear ride. <laughs> that Hudson was into. Finn Ming. Get him. Get him. He's the ultimate. <laughs> oh, spin him. The emergency escape hack. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome oh. aboard the people. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday now, and we are having a very late start because, as you saw yesterday, we took like full advantage of Disney. So now it, uh, we're gonna pick up some Starbucks at our hotel's lobby. I don't have an express pass this time, which I'm kind of worried about, but it's costing double to purchase it today. So I think that's X'd out. 200, 200 per person. It's already ordered? Yes. <laughs> the park is 10 minutes away. little neighborhood oh yes we are going into Hagrid's magical creatures right it's a 90 minute wait I think we waited longer last time but 
gonna do it, gotta do it. That's the castle. So I think the Hagrid's ride is the best ride in the park, but there are a couple of things to note on this ride. There is a section that while you're waiting in line can feel really claustrophobic if you're sensitive to that. It's like a corridor where basically you can only line up in a single file line and it is darker and closed off and really uncomfortable. So I didn't even record it because I was panicking but I show a glimpse of it here in a second. And then there's also a section where they share a video of Hagrid and then once the video is done the door opens on the left side and it's basically a free-for-all to go through and you don't get to save your spot in the line like it originally was. So it is a bit unfair in that way, but still best ride in the park. The Hogwarts Castle ride is 100% worth it. There are so many interesting things to see along the way. And then they do integrate Voldemort and Dementors on this ride. And I think that was a new addition because I don't remember that from the time I came to Florida before, but absolutely love it. Luffa is not feeling good. She's being weird about everything, but and may or may not have a fever. I'm still gonna go on a roller coaster and see what happens. Alright. Oh, that looks Great, good. we're going on that one. Hell yeah, we're going on that one. And someone might throw up. That is one of the most intense roller coasters I've ever been on in my life. Is it gets you really near the lake that's underneath the roller coaster, so you get like super close to the water so you're seeing water but you're like twisting at the same time as seeing water and then towards the very end of the roller coaster it just goes super speed like the fastest i've ever felt a roller coaster go like all of a sudden like hagrid's ride goes really fast all of a sudden too but this was like 10 times hagrid's ride and i definitely had to like keep my head up like this to try to make my neck like not get messed up but that was the most intense roller coaster I've been on. It looked very modern. You can tell it's quite new. Brisa said she's never going to do it again. Hassan said that's the best roller coaster he's been on. So Brisa just said skydiving is easier than the Jurassic Park. Easier than the Jurassic Park, right? You blocked out? No, I wasn't sure. I was just like, I can't really talk right now. <laughs> I can't. Look at the castle with the birds flying around it. Yeah. Hassan got the frozen yeah. butterbeer. I got a hot butterbeer like last time, which I learned is amazing, but... It's so good. Really? This ride made me feel quite claustrophobic and it wasn't quite worth it, so I'm voting no. Look at 
What role are you playing? Seeker, I want the glory. Chaser, I like to be involved and work as part of the team. Beater, I like to have all the power. I'll be in the crowd making sure supporter morale is high. Chaser. Ooh, you like to be involved and work as part of the team. You're allowed a pet in Hogwarts, an owl, a cat, or a toad. Which do you bring? Oh, wow, owl, oh, wow. Yeah. It's Saturday, you finish your homework and you have some free time. You decide to spend some time away from your common room. Where do you go? The Forbidden Forest, the library, the kitchens, the room of requirement. The room of requirement. <laughs> what is that? Which of these magical events would you most like experience? The Triwizard Tournament, the Quidditch World Cup, the Yule Ball, the Christmas at Hogwarts. Christmas at Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> You're having trouble mastering a new spell and you decided to ask for help. Who do you go to? My professor, of course. My house, ghost, my smartest friends, the library, I'll figure it out myself. I'll try to figure it out myself first. She would, yeah. yeah. And finally, thank God, we know that the sorting hat takes <clears throat> into account your preferences. So which Hogwarts house do you feel you identify most closely with? Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin? We'll just put Ravenclaw because we... The um, most antique... Oh, a lot. The most antique and classic looking, but clean. <laughs> That's how that would work. <laughs> she, Ravenclaw. she is Ravenclaw. You have a set a kindness that sets you apart from most. While some Ravenclaws can be seen as slightly intimidating, your Hufflepuff side means you are more approachable and therefore have an easier time making friends. Yes, she does. Despite your softness, you find it easy to detach yourself from emotional situations yes, and she give does. objective viewpoints, making you the perfect person to go to for advice. This is creepy. Your slight compatibility with Gryffindor House hints at an underlying desire for adventure that may manifest its, itself in a love of travel or trying new things. Wow. Mama, you're Ravenclaw for reals. Who is Ravenclaw? <laughs>